Hello, welcome everyone. We will begin our weeknight motivations in just a moment. So as I mentioned last night, uh, tonight's going to be a pre-recording. So when you have watched it, it was actually recorded today on Tuesday, May 16th, but it's just a couple hours before you watched it. I have a, um, an appointment this evening and I'm not going to be able to do it live, but regardless, you'll still get to see our weekend motivations for tonight. So thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome mouth pagers. Shalom and happy Tuesday. Yom Shlishi. Hope everyone has had a great day, a great week so far. I can't believe it's already Tuesday. Already Tuesday. Wow. Weekend's almost here. Yay. Already. So I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco. Mouth page is an online spiritual community. And we are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weekday motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service, live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So check it out. Really appreciate it. So please check out our services either on Facebook or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. Under our media tab, under live stream. And you can check out our YouTube channel, which is Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So for those of you who are new to our community, our weekend motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. Usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So we have been going live now for 21 weeks. Wow. I remember when we first started back in December. So we are now over 9,200 diehard mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. So thank you. Thank you, all of you for helping our community grow and your community grow because this is your community too. So thank you so much. So thank you everyone for continuing to help, to share the word, to share the love, to share our community. So I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone, and let's get our community over 10,000. 10, Thousand. Yay. So the more people we can connect with worldwide, the more people we can help grow spiritually. So let's continue to help grow our community. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick it off. We'll do tonight. We'll do the Shema since last night we did Psalm 156. So do it in English first. Hero Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. And in Hebrew, do a little musical note with my bongos. Shema Here Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Amen. So last night, it's motivation. We did God's challenge, and we are now on day eight about love. Well, yesterday was day eight, so about love. So tonight's motivation is God's challenge. Day nine is say it and mean it. In other words, keep your word. So what in the world does this mean, right? What does this mean? And how does this relate to being motivated? You know, how, how does this, a teaching moment? Well, this is a, that's a great question. First of all, words can be so damaging to others. Or they could be so powerful and uplifting. It's, it's our choice. I've seen the easiest salesperson turn a sale when a customer walks into a store saying they pretty much want this, this, and this. I have watched a person with their words lose the sale and the customers left. All the person had to do is just whoop, and just sign the paperwork. But I've seen a 
I've seen it. Words. Words can be so damaging. I've also seen the most obnoxious, belligerent, upset customer in the world. And words made that person like, awesome, right? Just calm down, laughing and giggling. So I've seen it. I've seen the power of words. I've seen what you say can be so powerful and so hurtful at the same time. As a kid, how many times were we asked by our parents to do our chores? And we were told, and we told our parents, oh, it'll get done in about five minutes. Then our parents come back five minutes, hey, are you gonna take out the trash? Oh, well, give me 10 more minutes. Give me 15 more minutes. Give me 20 minutes. How many of us have done that? I know I've done that. And, and here's the thing. I know saying chores or taking out the trash, well, how could that be damaging? Well, a lot because your parents are relying on you to do something that you said you were going to do. They asked you, you said yes, and now you said you were going to do it. And now they're having to do it, and other things could happen. I've seen so many things happen, and this has happened. I've seen people get injured because I didn't keep my word. They fell, they slipped on the ice, you know, uh, hurt their arm because I didn't take out the trash. Words can be powerful. Words can be damaging because if I would have done it, maybe I wouldn't have slipped or maybe I would have and I would have taken the, the bump on the arm, right? Or the elbow bruise. So mean what you say. If you say five minutes, then do it in five minutes. If you can't do it in five minutes, then say 10 minutes. Now I know things happen, but positivity, mean what you say, say what you mean. It's so powerful. I see it in sales all the time. You cold call, you, you pick up the phone, you ask for an appointment, the customer says, sure, how about next Tuesday at two o'clock? So at two o'clock you show up, customer's not there. Now, how damaging and how messed up is that for the other person, right? I mean, I know they're trying to be nice, but on the same token, you drove, like I've been in sales and this has happened to me several, several times, and you drive all the way down there and for me, when I say down there, I'm talking 80 miles. Even if you call and confirm and you drive down there and they're not there, it's hurtful. It is, sure is. Why is that important? Because this is how we change things. This is how we get people to help each other. This is how we help others to be nice, by meaning what you say. It's more, it's more powerful and impactful to say, no, I'm not gonna be there than it is to say, I will be there and not be there. Because it does something to your psyche up here going, ah, really? And then it kind of makes you a little grouchy inside. We're humans, so we are gonna be a little skittish when somebody tells you something. Just like dating. How many of us have been on the dating network, in the dating world, not the network, but the dating world, and someone stood us up? That's happened to me before many, many, many times. It's hurtful, isn't it? Go home pretty much in tears. And then when somebody actually says, look, go on a date, and they're there, you're like, oh my God, you know? This helps us trust each other if we mean what we say. So again, why is this a motivator? Because when you say something and you do it, it will help inspire people to have faith in one another, to trust each other. Right? Isn't that what we're all supposed to be about? Is helping each other, not being selfish and not, oh, me, 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 me. How about us, 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 you, 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 other, other, others. Right? Helping others is how we help each other. Because remember, when you help one person, this could get back around to you and help you again. Helping each other, using the words, saying things to help each other being lifted, right? So here are some positive examples of how this can impact by paying it forward, by motivating others, lifting their spirits, making their day better, brighter, to have faith in others. Pray to, ha to have others to keep their words. Pray to God for that. Keep your word. It's important. Very, very important. This one little bitty thing 
It just sounds like it's so little, but it can impact millions of people worldwide, billions, by just saying one thing, by keeping your word. This could be so powerful, so inspirational, because you're keeping your word. You say it, you mean it. If you say, I love you, then mean it. If you say, I will be there in 10 minutes, then be there in 10 minutes. If you say, I'm not going to be there, then don't be there. That's fine. Not saying that you have to be, that you have to do things you can't do. I'm saying to do things that you say you're going to do. Because it, hurting people's feelings is exactly that. It's no different than kicking somebody in the shins and they're injured. It's no different than you falling and hurting yourself. You're injured. You're, you're damaged inside, right? Because you're like, ow, ow, ow. Well, it's the same thing when you let somebody down. You're damaging them too. You're hurting their feelings. So say what you mean. Say it. Mean it, right? Keep your word. It's so powerful. It is the, it is the thing that keeps people to really have faith in one another. And it's the other reason why when you walk, like I always use the grocery store and I use it again yesterday. When I look at everybody looking at each other like we're all like a bunch of zombies, all like scared to death of each other, maybe if we start keeping our word, maybe it would be a lot pleasant to go to a grocery store. It wouldn't be like walking into like a, a zombie movie where everybody's looking at each other like scared, you know? No, keep your word. This could be this could be the changing, this could be the changing point right here. This could be it. This could this could be wow. This person said they were gonna be there at 10. Ah, they're there. I mean, heck, even if they were a minute or too late, at least they were there, right? Keeping your word. Keeping your word. It's powerful. All right. So Word of the day is say it. So keep your word, say it, right? Say it. S stands for speak to others with enthusiasm, love, and kindness. A, allow your words to be uplifting. Why? Your words can have a positive impact on others. Sure, just by saying, I will be there. Inspire others with encouraging words. Again, I, I've been talking about words the last couple weeks. Or, yeah, but last week and a half. It's so powerful. Words are everything. Teach others to use their words positively. Before, we, before I end, though, think of this. When God spoke to Noah, and he said, I want you to build an ark. Take my word for it. Trust me what I'm telling you. Build the ark. Now, if Noah didn't have faith in God's words, there would be no Noah because he wouldn't have trusted God's word. But he had faith in what God was saying because God said, God done. God told Abraham, do this and I will bless you with all the stars in the world. That's how big your generation is going to be. Trust him. Sarah, trust me, Sarah, when you're going to have a child. Yeah, no way. I'm an old lady. There's no way. Trust me. His word, he said it. His words, he said it. Moses, you tell the Pharaoh, let my people go. What are you talking about, God? There's no way. what I say? I'm going to free these people. And he did. He says it. He means it. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to be acting like God's. But we have to act in the same magnitude that God wants us to, in a godly, loving, kindness way. And we have to do that through thinking of trying our hardest, trying our best to act as what would God do? Now, again, we are not gods, but we have to be able to try to figure out how, if God can do it this way, what would, what would God expect us to do? When you pick up the phone and you tell somebody, I, I will do that. Then do it because you said it. Now, how would you feel if the shoe was on the other foot and they let you down? How would you feel on the other foot if you asked God, hey, God, can you do this for me? And God says, sure. Now, if you ask a prayer and you say, well, God didn't answer my prayer. Actually, God will answer your prayers. But the question is, is did he say when he was going to answer your prayer? And the only reason why I say it like that is because God 
does not lie. And God keeps his word. So if God says, I will answer your prayer, he will answer your prayer. There's a difference between you asking and God answering. Because if God answers, God will uphold his word. Always. God will always answer, but maybe he didn't answer right the two seconds right after you prayed. Maybe he answered a week later. Maybe he answered a couple days later. But he will answer, and then once he answers, he will uphold his end. But the question is, is did he say he was going to do it? Because if he did, he will do it. God will do it. God will always uphold his word. Do we? Do we uphold ours? This is a powerful, powerful word. I just want to, you know, hit that one more time because saying it, meaning it. It's powerful. Say what you mean. All right, so before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to say birthday wishes, to happy birthday to Cecilia and Nikki, and prayers for healing for Bruce, Stan, Rabbi Mar Marvin Perlman, Rabbi Sugarman, Rabbi Paul Walker, Bill, Catherine, Rachel, Ren, Stephanie, and her family, Vicki, Kenny, Jason, Ceci, Mike, Kenya, Ray, Sarah, Jasmine, and Linda. And let's go ahead and do numbers 623. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and, and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. In Hebrew, Yivarecha ka Adonai v'yashimrecha. Adonai panav elecha v'kunecha. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yashim lecha shalom. Amen. I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Please check us out every Monday through Thursday live on Facebook and on our website at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And our website is www.mouthpage.com. And on Friday for our Shabbat service at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our website and our YouTube channel. And we have all of our videos archived. Mouthpage is a nonprofit organization. We are a 501c3. So please feel free to donate whenever you can. And like I've asked before, if you know anybody who is a cantor or a singer, we are looking for musical talent, let me know. Shoot me an email at contact at mouthpage.com or give me a call as well. All of our information is on www.mouthpage.com. I want to wish all of you a happy week, happy Tuesday. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless. Lila Tov. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.